franchise today. One of them is Peter Holland. Number 24 is on the ice. And the other is number 26, Peter Granlund, who is on the ice now, a right-handed defenseman. Just 21 years old. Here's a chance for Jason Spezza. And his shot is stopped by James Reimer. And now Holland takes over at center, dumps the puck in. And the sentiment Pete Show in support of his defense is back, and he gets slammed into the boards by Colton Orr, but back the other way. CC up the middle, his pass. Turris, he's going to be on Team Canada as well. And Turris cycling back as Phillip comes after him. Nazem Kadri gets the puck out to center. He's got David Clarkson with him as he moves over the blue line. Nikolai Kulim into the net. Clarkson's shot was stopped by Craig Anderson. Skate gets to the blue line. Kreibo with his shot off the skate and wide of the net. And the Leafs will try again to get out of their own zone. James Van Riemsdyk to center. Kessel's over on the right side. Bozak up the middle. There's the shot and the rebound. And Kessel couldn't bury it. Puck around the outside to Jason Spezza. McCulloch's going to go for a new stick. Hoffman plays the puck into Carlson. There's nobody in front because McCulloch had to head for the bench, get a new stick. And now he comes on with a new one. Stole the puck and set up Spezza for a shot that Reimer stops. Lost the puck. Paired here with Morgan Riley as you get a glimpse of the Leafs' future on defense. They have some very good defensive prospects and a good forward in Kessel who moves in and shoots and Anderson got a little piece of that. And Bozak couldn't get a hold of it. Now Zach Smith still can't get out of his own zone. And for Kessel, takes the shot. Anderson makes the save and the puck pops up in the air, fell down in the net. But is it waved off? I no score. No question about this one. Bouncing puck in the Senators made a late change to get this line on the ice. Mafak jumps up with Hemsky who shoots. Stopped by Reimer. Rebound. They score. And that's waved off as well. So one at each end. Mafak's going to argue this. Upstairs. I'm all, you know, I'm almost. Boy, that's a tough call, isn't it? I, I'm with you. I think this is a tough call for sure. He's coming in to get the puck. The puck's in front of him, and I'm not sure if they think it went off his hand and into the net. But you're right. They can't go to the war room and look at goaltender interference. As Kyle Turris trying to hold the puck in. Couldn't get it deep for Ottawa. McCarthy. Carlson jumps up. Nice pass. Here's Stone in with a shot just wide of the net. Turris for an open net, and he missed it in behind. Ski up the middle, Spezza can't get away from Dion Phaneuf who takes the man, Spezza stays with it, takes the shot and Reimer made a nice save, Hemsky comes up with a puck. That has been their best line here in the last few weeks since the trade deadline when Hemsky joined the team. Ottawa just about got caught on a change, Colton on with a shot and that's kicked out by Anderson. Another shot wide of the net by Jane McClendon, Gleason stops up to the front of the net, here's a chance for Stone, one pass too many, he tried to bump the puck over to Kyle Turris instead of shooting it. Hoffman into Turris, Mark Stone goes to the front of the net, there's a hot shot by Clark MacArthur and a nice save by Reimer. Look what I got, Hemsky stopped by James Reimer. I think he knew he had the puck there for a moment. Hemsky centering pass, Reimer's right out of the play here as he went across the net, but the puck never did get to Jason Spezza. That's been the problem all year for both teams. I think the team that can straighten that out the quickest, I think we'll turn it around the quickest. You know that the coaches aren't teaching this kind of stuff. Here's Kyle Turris in with a chance, and there's always chances when these teams play. Protecting the puck against the center with Peter Holland. Stopping up, Alex Hemsky. Now he feeds the puck back. Here's Cece, takes the shot off the shoulder of Reimer. He doesn't know where the puck is. It took a crazy stanchion bounce. Stops up. Hits the defenseman Gleason, scooped into the corner, and Mason Raymond plays the puck back. Here's Cadley, fires a shot, and a blocker saved by Craig Anderson. Raymond kept the puck in, but his puck by Pajot, the thought. Just wide of the net, Chris Neal hooked the puck towards the net. Pajot darting everywhere. He comes up with a puck into the slot. Green shot is stopped by Reimer, and Neal couldn't bury the rebound. He had a swing and a miss at the side of the net. Leaves a gaping hole in that third line. I suspect that he's going to want to hit a home run, and Dion Phaneuf got hit in the corner. Very slow to get up here. They get back to Cog, Spezza, Hemsky, and Chris Neal out this time with Eric Carlson. Carlson from McCollin. Spezza double teamed along the boards. Puck's thrown to the other side. McClellan couldn't get a hold of it. Neal in too tight. Can't get it by James Reimer. Him down. Spezza. The back door play, and Hemsky can only take the puck and turn. He couldn't shoot. 
Carlson faked the one-timer, spits it, takes it, scores! Couple of pretty good-looking power plays, and finally Ottawa got one by James Reimer, one nothing for the Senators. Well, you can draw that one up on the board, as you can see, a real sense of purpose. One shot gets blocked there, and watch the quick puck movement. Three passes, a cross-seam saucer pass, a little curl back, and watch where this one goes right off the post. James Reimer doesn't catch the pass early enough, and he's a little bit late getting there, so he overreacts. And this one is just an absolute beauty of a shot. These teams go in to end. Spence said there's a giveaway and a chance for Bozak, and he shot the puck just wide of the net. Jake Gardner jumps in from behind the net. Van Riemsdyk tried to finesse one in and put away by Colin Greening, and he moves the puck to Chris Neal and up to center. Here's Pajot flying in off the wing, and the only guy who was going to make sure he stopped him was the other 44. He can skate with him. Cody Cece with a shot, hit a leg in front of the net. Jake Gardner. Skated the puck to center. He wants to stay with it. He's got it back again. Gardner takes the shot. That was stopped. Here's a chance for Cody Franson with his shot in traffic. Anderson made a nice save. This has got to get back. And Smith's right on it. Sense that he could get the bucket he did. Ottawa can't keep control of the penalty kill. Here's a three-on-two chance. Bozak to the net, and that's stopped by Craig Anderson. That's a pretty cool nucleus of your team, isn't it? It sure is. Turris with another shot, nice save, rebound, and Stone missed the net. Oh, he needed to bury that one. Defensive line creates a chance. And just far too much of that all year long. Zach Smith, Mike Hoffman, Condra hooked the puck to the net. There's a rebound poked away right to Condra, who shot it back, and it's blocked. He just doesn't seem to have his balance, and he's not got any confidence with the puck. He's turning it over, he's falling. And then it's there's Hartnell down for charity. If you had Carson down this year, he would have been. Eric Carlson. Can't play him enough. Scoop ahead of the breakaway. Milan McCulloch in a long, great save by Reimer. A bouncing puck with McCulloch. Hard to dust it off, too, wasn't he? Yeah, Trying to settle it down and made about five moves. And there's another great little play by Jason Spezza. He can dish the puck with the best, can he? A little backhand saucer right through two defensemen. And Reimer in the American Hockey League after tomorrow. Cece, Pajot, Stone all headed back to Binghamton with the American Hockey League. Here's Colin Greening headed for the net, and he backhanded the puck into the corner. Jake Gardner's going the right direction. Needs Phil Kessel on his off wing. He has Van Riemsdijk with him. And Bozak, who lost his balance. Van Riemsdijk stopped by Anderson. What a great save. Kessel. Leaves get the draw. That's important with only 23 seconds on the five on three to the side of the net. Van Riemsdijk shot, and he's stopped by Anderson, who smothers the puck. And there was just nowhere for Van Riemsdijk to put that puck. He tried to find a little hole up top. Dion Phaneuf, Phil Kessel. Franson moved in, Kessel moves out, turns, Franson, sharp angle, now he shoots and he hit the post. Off the inside of the post, behind Anderson, but he had to stop and get a new stick at the bench, and he dumps the puck in deep. Kessel scooped it off the boards, Catney couldn't get it, Pajot does, and he's going to have a breakaway. Shorthanded, Pajot stopped by Reimer. This year, and had it not been for a couple of good saves, where Looking at 13. And the power play continues, but drop back. Cadley to Mason Raymond. Tangled by MacArthur, takes the shot, an easy save for Anderson. It says a lot about how important it is for teams in these cities to battle for a playoff spot. There's another chance by Pajo, and he's turned back again by James Ryan at center. He's got Colvinor with it. Back the other way, Eric Contra. Shot the puck in so Zach Smith could go out. Hoffman's up front. Contra has the puck into the slot. Driver shoots. Great save by Ryder. Comes Morgan Riley to sit. The third and then got the puck back. And he can't get the shot away. The puck was in his feet. 
We get the return pass from Cooler tonight front a bouncing puck. Gardner with a swing and a miss. Jamie Clement with a slap shot stopped by Anderson. By Clark McCarthy. There's a four on two through center, but Condra lost the puck and Morgan Riley played it out to Tyler Bozak. Kessel delays, waits for traffic, takes the shot. Anderson the save, and he dropped his stick and with his blocker hand grabbed the puck. Tried it one last time, and it still wouldn't go. But uh, just kept the puck in, and this one is over. Greg Anderson with his fourth shutout of the season. 26th of his career. Ottawa 1, Toronto 0.